Hey guys, so look quick, um, I'm just going to do a really quick video, uh, just trying to cover some of the basics uh, and points to help your FPS in Tarkov. Um, I stream and play off the One PC, I'm running a i7-7700 CPU and my GPU is at 2070. So if, you're, if you want to see what your frame rate is and what you're getting, just remember FPS space 1. Um, it will bring up, as you can see in the top right corner, a little thing. If you want to see your packet loss and things like that, uh, FPS space 2. And that way you can see your overall um, statistics. You can see if you're getting droppage. Normally when they go red, it means like, you know, server lag, things like that. Then when you want to turn it off, FPS space 0 uh, is, is the way to turn it off. So we'll head into the settings. And we'll go from there. So these are the settings that I'm running at the moment. Um, Tarkov has come forward so much lately. Uh, the performance is a lot better. I do get, it is server related. Some servers I find no matter what I do, like my frame rate will drop to 70 or 80. Uh, from what I say, that's still above what a lot of other people play with. So I shouldn't really complain, but I like, or the game feels smooth for me around that 80 or above 80 to 100. I probably sit around 90. Uh, on most streams, 100, 110 on like customs, things like that. Uh, normally 80 to 90 inside interchange. So it all depends um, a little bit on the server, but it'd be like maybe one server out of seven games where it's dropped quite low like that. So as you can see, I'm playing in 1440p. Just remember if your PC uh, it is you know qu quite a bit older just drop everything to low and start from there see what your frame rate is um, and try and build it the best for yourself because unless you're running the same sort of gear as me or the same PC so unless you're running an i7 or a 2070 or you know even a 2060 graphics card that's probably you know the only way you're going to get the similar sort of performance but for me I found I've tried all different settings and I find having the texture quality on the um, on the high and texture streaming. Um, I've done it on just high and it was actually 20 frames lower. Like most of my peak would be around that 80, 80 to 90 max instead of 90 to 100. So for me and like from what I read and what I understand, the reason behind this is by having this on higher, it forces your CPU to do the rendering of the game and frees up your GPU to then pump out a bit more frames. So by having it on, on higher, um, it could help you. Just test it. That's all you can do. Test it and see if it performs. But this is what I've found works for me. The shadow quality I have on low, the reason I have this on low is so that in dark areas there's not as much dark shadows there. I do find it easier to spot players if they're being a bit of a sneaky breaky sitting in a dark corner which is quite common in this game so you can see now the rest of them or the next three I have all at the lowest um, I haven't really found much to do with this I just think it's less stress and less loading on your PC uh, it, obviously it just makes everything visible a bit closer to you there'll be less grass but it'll also help to spot players or like for example say a player is squatting in a bush and the bush hasn't rendered in for you you know, it's a little bit of an advantage in that way. And the other thing I found by running these uh, lower is when you're running into any sort of structure with windows, um, Shoreline is a good example. Whenever I'd be running into Shoreline, the windows wouldn't render in until I'm quite close. So if there's people up there or moving about, I can see them quite clearly. Uh, it does give me advantage. I have had times where I've seen like a head peeking and looking. So I've stopped going prone and then lined up a shot. And then once he peeked again, I shot him and killed him. So, you know, like everything, uh, there is advantages and disadvantages. So, and anti-analyzing, I'm running at the moment on FXAA. Um, I have previously ran it on off um, and I'm just testing. For my, I would suggest if you want to test in between these three, um, I wouldn't go higher. Um, I noticed frame droppage when I went higher, but in these three, it's sort of on par. Having it off squeezed out a little bit more FPS for me. Um, having it on TAA made it look a lot more crisp. So I'm at the moment testing out uh, FXAA to see if it affects my frame rate or not.
Uh, as you can see, they're resampling one times off. HBAO off, SSR off, uh, and the filtering's off, and the sharpness is on 0.7. So everything else is turned off. So we'll go now into my NVIDIA settings. In my NVIDIA settings, I actually don't change a lot. Um, I do, like, as in, uh, my recommendation would be to, you know, pick the reset. Uh, I'll actually look, I'll do it right now so you can see. So everything now is pretty much stock with what NVIDIA thinks is the best. Um, which to the majority is quite right, but uh, the things I like to change, so your vertical sync, I always force it off from in here just because I've had issues with some games where it does turn it on and it doesn't, so vertical sync off. Um, the other thing, I don't run my texture filtering on quality, I put it on high performance just because I stream and play the game in the same PC. Uh, your power management mode, I put my power management mode onto preferred maximum performance. That way, it's always running at the peak of what it can do. It doesn't have to buffer up or buffer down. Um, and your refresh rate is the only other thing. This can be a bit more personalized depending on what you have. Highest available or application control. Like, there's not much difference at all between the two. Um, and then I click apply and that's it. They're the only ones I really would recommend um, changing where it's not going to affect really much globally at all. Uh, everything else you can customize within the game. So guys, that's it for the graphic settings. You don't need much. Just remember uh, FPS 1, 2 or 0. Um, try it yourself. See what your frame rate is. Try it on different servers and try and get consistency. That's the biggest advantage in this. The higher your frame rate is when you are not looking down a scope, because once you look down a scope or you sight in, your frame rate will drop, the better it's gonna be, because if I've got 20 frames more when I'm not looking down a scope, when I look down the scope, I should have 20 to 10 more than normal. And it does give you a big advantage because your sighting, as you can see, it's very precise now, and I, I, it doesn't really matter you know, what I'm looking at, it's quite easy. See what I mean? Whereas in sometimes, uh, previously when you'd sight in, the frame droppage would be terrible, that it'd be all chuggy and chunky, but as you can see, it's quite nice and smooth. Okay, guys, make sure you leave a like and follow. Um, and I'm going to leave you with a small clip and just a tip for Tarkov. Remember, slow down, play slow. I always play slow if I'm late because nine times out of ten, one, it'll either save your life or two, it'll put you in a position where you can be more profitable from it.